Hi, my name's Tom Elliott. Welcome to another Financial Markets Update for Hodges Real Estate. Well, today the Reserve Bank has left interest rates on hold. However, this doesn't mean that they won't cut them again in the future. The Reserve Bank is in a very difficult situation right now. On one hand, it's got a weakening economy. Uh, we've seen, for example, that the iron ore price continues to fall, and that's causing a lot of problems in the mining economy. On the other hand, we've got booming housing markets in the eastern cities of Sydney and, of course, Melbourne, where all of us live. At the moment, Melbourne clearance rates are around 75 76%, which is very strong. Sydney, however, clearance rates are above 80%, and this is extraordinarily strong and something that the Reserve Bank is a bit worried about. So on one hand, you've got a weakening economy. On the other hand, you've got booming housing prices in Australia's tourist big cities. My tip is that even though the Reserve Bank didn't cut interest rates today, another cut is still firmly on the cards. Another thing the federal government is grappling with right now is tax reform. Now, a few weeks ago, the white paper on taxes was released, and some of the things that it included were, for example, uh, making superannuation tax concessions less generous, particularly for the higher paid. That will, of course, make the government extraordinarily unpopular, because there's an old saying in politics, don't fiddle with super, one that successive governments fail to heed. Uh, another thing, dividend franking. Now again, dividend franking is very, very popular with people who manage their self-managed super funds. Paul Keating introduced it. I don't think Joe Hockey will get rid of it, but it is in the white paper. Uh, pension eligibility. I think pension eligibility will be tightened. At the moment, you can own your own home and as a couple have up to $1.1 million in separate assets and still get a part pension. That is overly generous. Negative gearing is also under the gun. I can't imagine the government fiddling with this, but you just never know at the moment. And finally, the GST. One of the more obvious ideas that comes out of the tax white paper is to both broaden and possibly increase the GST. We'll find out after an extended conversation over the next year. Um, other issues that the federal government is looking at is trying to reduce its spending. The A dollar also is still stubbornly high, and if the Reserve Bank cuts interest rates again, one of the reasons it'll be doing that is to try and get the A dollar lower. A lower A dollar, of course, improves our exports. But again, from a property perspective, a lower A dollar also makes houses less expensive from an overseas perspective and the slew of foreign buyers we are seeing at auctions here in Melbourne at the moment will not stop. In fact, it will increase if the A dollar goes lower, as I expect it will probably do. So overall, the Australian economy is at a tipping point right now. Interest rates are at record lows, and this is very, very good for property buyers. However, they're at record lows because the economy shows sign of weakening, and of course, it's not much good you know, having very, very high house prices if separate from Melbourne and Sydney, you've got a very, very weak economy. The Reserve Bank has the most difficult time on its hands. The government does too. The only good thing is that the upcoming federal budget will be, as the Prime Minister has already described, a boring budget. And that means no funny surprises. We shall wait and see. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for listening to me. And of course, if you're thinking about uh, buying or selling a property at the moment, either to live in or as an investment, don't hesitate to contact your local Hodges office. Their assistance can only be of value. Go to hodges.com.au for more. Thank you very much.